how how important is feeling, you know, physically and stuff? You've had an incredible stretch of teams, but it also kind of looks like that you yeah, he was not feeling well tonight. Um, he, uh, <clears throat> he laboring out there, and I, I was really proud of him. Um, you know, uh, there's going to be nights like that um, in this league for for guys who, you know, who are well for everybody, but for guys who handle the ball and have that kind of responsibility and score a lot of points. There's nights when the ball doesn't go in the hoop. And it's just so important to keep playing and keep fighting. And I thought he made huge plays down the stretch, um, made it, made his free throws, um, just battled the whole night. It just, you know, it wasn't his night, but he overcame that. And uh, that takes a lot of maturity, a lot of guts. So really, really proud of Jordan. Ask, you know, when you saw him falling, is this another sign of, of the growth that he is getting to the free throw line so many times? Uh, finding other ways to still Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a sign of his maturity and growth. Um, not just getting to the foul line, but you know, distributing the ball. He had eight assists and he took care of it. He just two turnovers and uh, competed defensively. And you know, it was a it was a long grinding night for him, but he helped us get the win. And and that's uh, it's a great sign for a young player who's um, you know still still learning a lot about this league. Uh, it does to me, you know, I don't know uh, as far as the voting on the award. Um, I don't know how that factors in, but as his coach, as someone who sees him every single day, I'm thrilled with the growth and the maturity, you know, where he was um, two and a half years ago compared to now, it's just dramatic and he's earned every bit of it. I mean, he's, uh, he's just worked so hard and he's uh, played different roles. He's been, you know, our point guard, our two guard, he started, he's come off the bench. Um, and regardless, he's just um, learned and, and listened and, and um, improved. Um, usually, you know, perfect game for McDavid, especially in the second quarter, um, had two big steals and overall had a really solid night, 25 points. What have you thought about him? And do you feel like he's just making those guys who have to work really hard can actually yeah, I mean, J.K. is just such a dynamic athlete, and he's uh, he's come along. He's come so far, um, you know, just in the last few months. And I thought he was a real key tonight, you know. Um, didn't enter the game till the second quarter, and then, um, you know, it made an immediate impact, um, you know, making shots and, and being physical and getting some rebounds. And I thought J.K. had a really good night. Yeah. 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 Well, we're, um, you know, we've got a lot of guys who are uh, important to us. And, um, and I started Damian Lee so that we could keep our second group intact with Gary and Otto, Belly and Andre. And, uh, and then, you know, JK is, um, is the guy we go to, um, you know, if after that, that group. So it's kind of been that way the last few games. And if he's got it going, we'll stay with him. And if not, then we'll we'll go back to the vets. But um, he's doing a great job of staying ready. You mentioned the other night, Scott, or the other day in practice. I can't remember which one it was, but you guys have kind of been solidifying at least in your conversations what the rotation of the playoffs, mm -hmm. playoffs is going to look like. Obviously, with one of the back, we're going to the bench. But is this second unit what kind of what you're expecting to play in the postseason? Yeah, and then uh, that could change 10 minutes into game one. So, um, you just don't know how the playoffs are going to shake out, but uh, got a lot of options. Um, I, I like uh, a lot of those guys coming off the bench. I like the combination of those vets. Um, you know, they know how to play and they're doing a great job. Um, but um, the, the option to go to JK is there and it's a, it's a, it's a really a powerful one. You know, I'm almost knocked down to Triple Double. It seems like Clay is kind of timing at the right time. I do. Draymond was great tonight. I thought he was the best player on the floor. His energy, his rebounding, his uh, distrib uh, distribution of the ball, um, his energy was great. He just he came out ready to play, and um, 
that's a, a, a great sign. He knows, you know, playoffs are next week. And uh, I think he's, um, you know, since he came back a few weeks ago, I thought this was the best he's looked physically. So, uh, you know, it's a great sign heading into next week. I thought it was that it was more them than us. You know, I just thought, um, you know, San Antonio, they have an identity. They um, they're obviously so well coached, no matter who they play, they're connected. Um, they stay together, they compete, and they made a great run to close that third quarter. I thought the, the buzzer beater at the end of the third quarter was a big shot to take it from 10 to seven. And then uh, they kept they kept going. They had a lot of guys who played really well tonight. So um, more about them than than us. Yeah, I mean, we need our our vets to uh, to lead and uh, continue to talk to JK and um, they've done a great job of that all year. And um, yeah, I'm, I have no doubt JK will make an impact in the playoffs. I don't know over the last couple, couple of days, um, but everything, you know, up until um, two days ago was the last time that I talked to him and talked to Rick, everything has been on schedule. And since I haven't heard from them, I assume it still is. Cool. Steve, you know, coaches can sometimes be reluctant to play teenagers in the playoffs. And I'm wondering, uh, with JK, you know what he can do, but how do you calculate the risk of playing a teenager who can do what he does, but also can be foul prone? Uh, well, that's going to be um, the, the, the situation that we'll be in. You know, he's a, he's a really gifted player and he's talented and, and, um, physically capable of doing a lot of things out there uh, that can help us. So he's an option and we'll just have to read how this, the, the, uh, the matchups are, whoever we play and uh, read the game and determine whether we think we should play him or not. But um, I have no doubt if I call on him that, that he's going to play well. Thanks everybody. Yeah.